Alright, we've got John Cobos. It looks like Zachary Zapanzik. And Zachary Zapanzik of Barberton from Norton, Ohio. Cobos, I believe, an Eagle. Senator Eagle from me by Mike. But we just watched Barker. Uh, Alec Barker against Weber at heavyweight. And Barker gets taken down overtime to a lateral drop. Gives up. Tell me what, what, what that reminded you of, Kevin. Leon's from Ohio State, uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. A couple years ago, National Duels, Columbus, Ohio. Match on the line. Duel, uh, the duel on the line. Tommy Rollins was able to take him down. Get uh, what would be the win in the match. Crump gives up. Next thing you know, all Crump had to do though was give belly up. Belly down. Yeah, belly down, and they win the duel. Instead, he laid on his back, kind of like what Barker did there, and got got pinned. I remember those at St. John's Arena. He erupted. But back to Zupanzik and Kobos. Kobos for John Carroll in the blue. Zupanzik in the green for the Vikings of Cleveland State. After redshirting last year, Zapanzik's in the lineup right now for uh, sophomore Jordan Keller. Keller has a uh, skin condition. He'll be uh, cleared after uh, Thanksgiving to return to the mats. Cobos in a deep shot. Zapanzik defense. Looks like he's going barrel roll. We're in a wizard position here. Cobos comes up to an underhook. So with three matches in, it's 6-4. This is the third match at 6-4. Two matches have been scored. A pin and a major decision. Pin for the Vikings, a major decision for the Blue Streets. Beautiful head inside single shot by Zupanzik. Nice closed wizard. Ooh, he goes for the cross. Ankle pick for Kobos. Kobos was in the St. Edward lineup last year. Oh, nice. Kobos ran out nicely there. Caution on Kobos. Goes for the Granby. Japan just got the foot. Watch, he's got to watch his knee. Ooh, he's got his knee in a really bad position there. How's the Panzix broken down? Kobos. Seconds of ride time. 40 seconds left on the first. Shot Cobos up here. 2 0. From Zachary Zapanzik. Zapanzik's got to get his head off the mat here. Tries to Granby roll again. We can see a Peterson. Zapanzik turns the tables. He's got to come out the back. Cobos is trying to hang on. Nothing yet. All Cobos has got to do is hang on for 16 more seconds. Zapanzik trying to come to his feet. I don't think we're going to see anything here. Kobos can just hang on. Zapanzik's got to posture up and get his head off the mat. There he goes. Now he's looking up and no score. A minute two riding time for Kobos. He's got a 2-0 lead going to the second. Zapanzik's choice. He's going to have some injury time. Injury time for Kobos, looks like. That scramble, he must have tweaked his knee. So I need the synopsis. Talk about the Buckeye duels. Buckeyes undefeated. 
good job. 27 out of 30 yet. They, uh, I'd say they literally substituted, got a lot of their reserves. Some uh, Paul was on California, Paul was yeah. Star went uh, undefeated at 149. Yep, looked really good. Uh, at 125, Triggers was 2 0. Uh, and again, big pin against Notre Dame, fell down early. Uh, Pat Harrington got in, won a match at 25. Who did he pin, Primus? Uh, and then uh, Harrington had a win at 33, had uh, two wins from uh, 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 Ian Haddock at 133, uh, well, I mean, uh, 141, Reese Humphrey. Uh, How Finley did? Won his first three matches. Finley got beat by Notre Dame College, beat, uh, beat Cleveland State, lost to Ohio State. Uh, Humphrey picked up his 100th college win, uh, winning uh, against Adam Kobala, national champion. So it was a good match. Very good heard. match. No, no, NAI national NAIA. Uh, Another caution on Kobos. That's the second one. 57. Uh, Nemec had a pair of wins. Jameson got in there. How did Jameson do? Jameson looked a lot better. Wrestled a full seven minutes. Unlike Friday night against Lehigh, where he uh, wrestled for six minutes and 30 seconds, had a five-point lead, and uh, lost a one-point decision. Ooh, escape for Kobos. Now he's in on a nice single. The Panzer are trying to hang on. Now this is where he faltered last time. He tried to spin out. All he's got to do is keep the closed wizard. It doesn't look like Kobos can come up. There's going to be the stalemate. What he should have done last time, like you said, Kevin. Sponsor uh, undefeated at 65, 74. Rella had two wins. Uh, Tony... D.C. Pendleton took a uh, loss against Cleveland State at 74. Scott Connors, that. Jeremy Sanders took a loss against Finley at 184. Marcus Eppner won against T.C. Pendleton, that. Yep. And then at uh, 97, C.J. Magrum uh, dropped a 72 decision to uh, force from Notre Dame College. Those were all stage three losses. Uh, Corey Morrison, uh, nice win against uh, Orlando Scales, really highly thought of recruit. What was that score? I want to say 7-3. Uh, uh, Scales was never really in any position to score. The Panthic has a front headlock forever. That's a throw by, bowling for dollars, gets his two. He's got the riding time going opposite direction now. 53 seconds ride time, 40 seconds left in the second period. 3-2 on the board, Zapanzik throws a boot in. Thanks for the Buckeye update. This almost looks like how the 197 match was. Almost the, ooh, that's a stall warning on Obos on the bottom for John Carroll. Panzik riding top on top inside of 10 seconds, five remaining, second period. Panzik up on the board, 3-2. I'm sorry. Kobos of John Carroll up on the board, 3-2. Looks like Panzik's choice is going to go down. Looks like he's going to go down. He's telling his coach he wants to go down. Kobos is going to ride in for 47 seconds. He wants to get the ride time. <laughs> Up to his feet right away is Panzik. Kobus returns into the mat. Coming out. Oh, the turn of fortune. He catches him on his back. We can see another ball here. They got another ball. It's a Panzik. A hard fought match. He catches Kobos and pins him in the third period with a minute 30 remaining. Zachary, the Panzik, huge win. Two falls for the Vikings.